Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, welcome to the Divine Mercy, our, our loving Lord. Today I want to bless every one of us with His mercy and want to abundantly anoint us with His Holy Spirit. As we enter into this holy hour, let us meditate from the passage, Romans chapter 11, verse 16, where we read, If the root is holy, the branches also will be holy. Just a short part of a word of God. Our loving God has given us for our reflection today. As we look into this word of God, we understand. Holy Spirit want to convey with us very important part about the parents who bring birth to their children as they enter into their marriage they have to understand marriage is a holy and sacred institution instituted and erected by God and because of its order family is always holy and whatever unholy things that happens in a family, it will be transmitted into its next generation. A generational transmission of sin is greatly happening in the families. Many of us are not aware of that problem. And now we can see, I would like to bring before you an incident in the life of Abraham. Abraham, when he was asked by God to go to Canaan, first he has not gone to Canaan. On the way, on the river side, the banks of Euphrates, Tigris. He stayed there. There was a beautiful, fertile place called Nagib. When he stayed there, what happened is that where he stay, his stay over there is not in the part of the will of God. So, 
when he stayed over there there came a big famine he was not able to stay over there so he was forced to go to egypt as he entered into egypt his wife sara being a very beautiful woman got attracted by the egyptians and the egyptians reported to pharaoh pharaoh was very much attracted by sara and wanted to take her anyhow by the grace of god pharaoh was not able to touch her before that itself god's grace saved her anyhow abraham being frightened when sara is taken by pharaoh he said to pharaoh she is not my wife she is my sister so abraham had a tendency of speaking lie and we find uh, later in genesis chapter 26 where we find isaac with his wife rebecca in gerar the king of gerar abimelech in the same manner found rebecca being a beautiful woman wanted her and took her into his court as soon as lord started to persecute abimelech and his family he gave back rebecca to isaac isaac also being frightened he also said as his dad said rebecca is not my wife she is my sister see one important thing that we see that the tendency of speaking lie isaac inherited it from his dad abraham if we look back into our own life we can see there is this fact is very clear appears our own life many bad tendencies in our life we have been inherited from our ancestors and also many good qualities also we have inherited from our ancestors so there is an ancestral transmission of sin into the later generations and the same thing is conveyed by saint peter in his letter we can see that saint peter speaks in chapter 1 verse 18 and 19 you know that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your fathers not with perishable things such as silver or gold but with the precious blood of christ like that of a lamb without blemish or spot so saint peter very clearly tells us there is a chance chance of inheriting futile ways of our ancestors our fathers so that we very clear in the life of isaac we have seen the same thing we can also see in the life of david and solomon they in the second book of samuel chapter 11 we find david commits adultery with bathsheba once david committed adultery and in order to save his face he
he even killed his killed bashabas husband uria one adultery second murder two grave sins he committed and he wanted to hide all what he did from the sight of god we can nothing can be covered nothing can be covered the truth he came to know about it only when prophet nathan appeared before him anyhow after that we can see in the family of david so many troubles entering when he committed adultery after that we find one of his daughter tamar has been molested by one of his son from another wife amnon was fascinated by the beauty of tamar he wanted to sin with her and wanted to marry her see when david entertained adultery the same thing has been done by his own son under his nose when absalom brother of taman came to know about this matter he became angry and he wanted to take revenge against amnon and he killed amnon as david killed uria his own son killed his own another son and all the more from bersheba he has given birth to solomon and the life of solomon was so dirty we can say we, we can say that solomon was the the worst womanizer in the world if david committed adultery with one lady solomon committed adultery with a thousand ladies such a dirty fellow a dirty life he led and died and because of his serious sin the kingdom has been divided into two parts one is called judea the other is called israel a kingdom which have been united in the name of god got separated divided became rivals between each other all this is coming from the sin david committed sin and that sin is inherited into his son solomon and through him so many other failures entered into the people of israel when we look into the bible bible want to convey this important message with us being a responsible parent every couple has got a great responsibility of living a holy life if the couple if the parents are not living a holy life they are bringing out a dirty generation into this world the book of sirach chapter 41 verse 5 tell us children of the sinners are abominable children 
they gather frequently with the ungodly my dear brothers my dear sisters in several people and in their life we could see this very thing is taking place and because of this we all should understand this fact of transmitting sin from one generation to the other generation it must be stopped start to live a holy life that influence of sin must be stopped in order to bring a stop into that jesus came into this world this message is very strongly given by saint peter when he spoke in chapter 1 first peter chapter 1 verse 18 and 19 you know that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your fathers so peter is very clear that you will be ransomed you will be freed you will be liberated from the futile ways that inherited from your fathers and which causes what causes this freedom saint peter says that it is by the blood of precious blood of christ and the blood of christ is like a, a lamb without blemish the precious blood of jesus which is much much greater than silver or gold is not perishable unperishable power and that blood of christ will liberate every man every woman if anyone is having this inherited problem upon a person the holy blood which is shed for the humanity on the cross will plead for us and liberate us from this problem dear my, my dear brothers my dear sisters this mercy hour is a powerful hour and this mercy hour is an hour which jesus died on the cross and suffered on the cross and he shed the blood for us and this hour is an hour of grace and this hour if you bring your problems of such it will be washed in the precious blood of jesus and the mercy of the lord is waiting for i and you to offer these problems before the lord so dear brothers and sisters let us take and use this hour so that we all may be liberated from this trouble that has and then upon if it is upon us and also these words that the holy spirit has brought before us brings a strong message leaves a strong message to every parent every couple marriage is not simply a social 
function or an event or a secular act but it is a sacred act and it must be considered to be very holy and married life must be led in holiness these are very important things in the book of hebrews chapter 12 if we look into it we can see our god want to tell us a very important thing he want to tell us he want to tell us chapter 13 verse 4 let marriage be held in honor among all and let the marriage but be undefiled for god will judge the immoral and the adulterous so god is bringing a very important thing before every couple your marriage but is an altar in which you with your partner share your life and this act is a holy act and it shall not be a, an act of evil it may not be an act of unholiness unholiness enters it will surely affect not only their life but also the life of the next generation in the book of judges we find when the angel of the lord appeared before manoah's wife and reporting that though you are a barren you will bear a son the annunciation about the birth of samson so the lord chapter 13 verse 5 we see that lord is giving an instruction to this woman who is going to become a mother lord said you shall eat you shall not eat anything unholy no drink any hot drinks or wine because the boy that is going to be born will be consecrated for god he will be a nazarite so this precaution through the angel given to wife of manova is for every parents who are trying for a child if the parents they eat unholy food that will surely affect the child who is to be born food means not simply the food that we eat and goes into our stomach rather than it is what enter into our heart what enter into our heart is through the five senses our contact with this world through the five senses shall not be unholy if a parent who is going to give birth to a child lives in unholy situation sure the child also will be unholy unfortunately many parents they don't recognize it and not only that unfortunately what happens is that the unholiness which was upon the parents 
when it appears upon the children it will appear upon the children in double measure this is what generally we find in the world so let us bring this phenomenon before our loving god place it in the mercy of the lord this mercy our help us to sanctify ourselves and our coming generations and not only that we call god's mercy upon every believer in this world every man every woman in this world shall get liberated from this inheriting sin into their life we pray for god's mercy and his mighty intervention into upon every man every woman and let the blood of jesus may wash every one of us and liberate us from these problems thank you jesus praise you jesus praise to jesus hallelujah 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 sanctify me oh god cleanse my body mind and soul purify me and make me whole sanctify me oh god cleanse my body mind and soul purify me and make me whole help me to put off my whole self corrupted by all its deceitful desire create me here new in your likeness oh lord make me righteous and holy sanctify me oh god cleanse my body mind and soul purify me and make me whole sanctify me oh god cleanse my body mind and soul purify me and make me whole let me not confirm any longer to the pattern set by the ways of the world may i offer myself as a living sacrifice that is holy and pleasing sanctify me Oh God cleanse my body mind and soul purify me and make me whole sanctify me Oh God cleanse my body mind and soul purify me and make me whole sanct
sanctify me, O oh God, cleanse my body, mind and soul, purify me and make me whole, purify me and make me Purify me and make me whole. Purify me and make me whole. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, now let us enter into the Divine Mercy Chaplet. You expired, Jesus, Jesus but the but source, the source of, of life gushed forth, forth for souls, and, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood, blood and, and water, water, which gushed forth, forth from the heart of Jesus, as, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, thy will be, be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. And, and is seated, seated at, at the right, right hand of God, the Father, the Father Almighty. From, From there he will, he will come to judge the living and the dead. dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, as we enter into the first decade, let us bring before our loving Lord and into his mercy every couple who enter into marriage. They may be able to consider their marriage as holy and they may be able to live a holy, dedicated life as the Lord has called them into live a very important responsibility in this world. And they are cooperating in the work of creation that Lord has entrusted upon them together with the Lord. And this, they may be able to perform in holiness 
and live in holiness and become a channel of grace to their children and to the coming generations. Lord, we ask this grace and this power of the Holy Spirit may be transmitted to every couple all over the world. And for this grace, we offer this first decade. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, we offer you, you the body and blood, blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, Son our and our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ in atonement for our sins and those, and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Loving Father, in the second decade, we pray in a very special way for various sinful habits in our lives, in the lives of our near and dear ones. Sins that someone has abused us, sins where we cooperated, any form of sin, sins which has become a habit Sins which has become a vice and sins which need deliverance. And Lord Jesus, you promise all of us that in your most precious blood, the blood that you shed on the cross, there is deliverance. Brothers and sisters, wherever you are, claim the word, very beautiful word of Hebrews chapter 13, and verses 9. How much more will the blood of Jesus cleanse our conscience? Cleanse our conscience from dead works so that we can serve the living God. Yes, brothers and sisters, we have repented, but many of us are living in guilt of past sins. Many of us are living in shame of past sins committed. And there is a wonderful and beautiful promise in the Bible which says that the blood of Jesus sanctifies us, sets us free so that our conscience, our heart is completely cleansed and we can worship, we can serve the living God freely. Brothers and sisters, maybe sometimes we have given in to some sins, sometimes we have been abused and there is a change in our own character. We ourselves do not know how we behave. And the answer is the blood of Jesus. It's the perfect mercy of the Lord, cleansing our hearts, our conscience in faith. We claim the blood of Jesus in this decade upon us, upon our spouse, upon our near and dear ones, upon all those whom we know who are struggling in sin. So we offer this decade especially for cleansing in the precious blood of Jesus. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father we, we offer you the body, the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion have, have mercy, mercy on, on us and on, and the, on whole the whole world. world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have, have mercy, mercy on, on us and, and on, on the whole, whole world. world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world Lord we pray in this decade as we have been made aware of the ancestral sins that are inherited by the generations that follow Lord we pray that we do not sit and condemn one another but let us accept Lord that we are to be washed in the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Let us realize that we need to ask for pardon and forgiveness. Yes, Lord. And Lord, as we look up to you, Lord, especially during this mercy hour, where you have shed your blood, Lord, and the mercy that flows through your compassionate heart, let us not indulge in self-pity or self-condemnation, Lord, but help us, give us the grace, Lord, to turn to you from every sin, Lord, from every negative that holds us, that takes us away from your love, that does not allow us to believe in your mercy, Lord. Let all the falsity and all those ideas which surrounds them we pray, Lord, that your blood washes them, cleanses them, yes, Jesus. and sanctifies them, Lord. Yes, Lord. And may they be held, your mercy, your love, your glory, Lord. Yes, Jesus. And become mediators and intercessors to pray. Stand yes. in the gap and pray, Lord, yes, instead Jesus. of condemning and blaming. Yes, Lord. Help them to become responsible and to pray for one another. We ask for this grace. Eternal Father, Father we, we offer, offer you, you the, the body, body and, and blood, blood, soul and divinity of your, of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world Lord, our loving Father, as we enter into the fourth decade, we very specially lift up parents who are so much worried about their children and their conduct and their character has become worse and by their strength they are not able to change and control the children. And day by day, children becomes uncontrollable and goes away from the presence of God, away from the presence of the parents. Such a phenomenon, 
worries many of the parents right now. And very specially, I hope many of us who participate in this prayer session may be undergoing the same situation. And right now, Lord, let your mercy come upon these families. First of all, the parents may repent and ask pardon for their sins. And when they wash their sins in the blood of Jesus, from there, the blood of Jesus will flow into their children and make them also to receive a cleansing by the blood of Jesus. And through the prayer, sacrifices, fasting, that the parents may do at your altar will contribute a great deal to change the life of the children. Let all the parents may understand and uh, able to practice this grace in their life rather than becoming disappointed by the behavior of the children. Trusting on my Lord, claiming God's mercy and his precious blood, my children will turn into my God that confidence shall be poured into their heart. They may be able to bring today, right now, in this decade, all their children and shall be washed in your blood for the sanctification. They shall be ransomed in the blood of Jesus even at this moment. They may be able to believe that for all these graces, we very specially invoke your mercy and invoke your precious blood. Eternal Father, Father we, we offer you, you the body and blood, and blood soul and divinity of, of your dearly beloved Son, Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of, of the whole world. world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy, mercy on, on us and, and on, on the whole world. world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us. And on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Loving Father, in this fifth decade, we lift up all the families throughout the world in general to you families that are living voluntarily under the power of sin, that you will deliver them through your great mercy in this mercy hour. We also lift up the entire world which says that wrong is right and right is wrong. That those who will choose to live the correct path will be given your strength and mercy. And Father, we also surrender to you all the intentions of our brothers and sisters who are watching this program online, as well as who are going to watch this program. Eternal Father, we, we offer, offer you, you the body, body and blood, soul, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement, atonement for our sins, sins and, and those, those of, of the, the whole world. world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of a sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom in mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heal me, Lord. Heal me, Lord. That I shall be healed. And I shall be healed. Serve me, Lord. Serve me, Lord. That I shall be saved. And I shall be saved. You are my praise. You are my praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the power of this word. By the power of this word. There shall be. There shall be. Mighty healing. Mighty, mighty healing deliverance deliverance in your name in, in your name jesus jesus we claim we claim hallelujah 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 there are some people especially five of them having numbness even goes up to their head different parts of body is numb due to some sickness and right now the Lord is healing such a five people and blessing them. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Three people suffering with a severe heartburn. Lord is healing them and 
remove their difficulty from their body hallelujah 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 lord help several people to come out from their bondages sinful addictions hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah continuous recurring cold fever and cough because of that very much tired and troubled 11 people are getting healed from this problem hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus let's all kneel down and receive the blessing of the eucharistic lord oh sacrament most holy oh sacrament divine all praise and all thanks Yeah.